Light heavyweight days. He's a superstar around Europe, a former K1 European champion. He's got the greatest K1 fighter, the greatest heavyweight fighter ever in his corner, Ernesto Hustia tonight. Sure. Unfortunately, Alan Wong, his trainer, couldn't make it over here. Jamaica suffering a bad case of influenza. Slawinski versus Corderon Hammer. Let's take a look now at both of these behemoths. Combat du premier au cinq. When the first round starts until the end, it is a war. Paul Slowinski, I came here to declare war. In my mind, I always knock out my opponent. The referees cannot say he wins or not win. Like this, I am sure I win. This is no joke. I knock you out or you knock me out. No discussion. They invited me to Jamaica. I came for the war. Quarter on the animal. I've commentated quite a few of his fights in the A1 championships around the world. And last time in Melbourne, March last year, when he absolutely knocked this stuffing out of big Chris Christopolides. If you know him, a lovely guy. If you don't, well, you're going to think he's downright loopy. And here he comes six foot six, 198 centimeters of hulking humanity. That is Patrice Quarter on. He was actually sunbaking on the beach yesterday, Hammer. He's so big, people were trying to push him back into the water. <laughs> he's feeling like a Jamaican too. He's, he's feeling the love with uh, Jamaica. He's got the flag. He's at home here. He's at home here. And he's got uh, one of the greats with him as well. Kadir Marouf, his corner. They're out of Lyon, France these days, although Patrice Hale's originally from Ovry in southern Paris. As he bounds to the ring. <laughs> oh, not so much a bouncing. A slow, <laughs> meditative walk. For Patrice Corderon comes in tonight on a crushing 15 fight win streak dating back to 2006 in which no one has gone past four rounds with him. He has finished 10 of those 15 opponents in the very first round. Speaking to Kadir yesterday, he said we are also going to finish Paul Slowinski inside of three minutes here tonight. He said, Michael, mark my words. Speaking of Paul Slowinski, let's take a look at the big stud from Adelaide, South Australia, the former K1 European champion, the Sting Paul Slowinski. I've won world title, 79 kilos, super anyway. You create this passion, you create the love for the fight game. It's a mad sport. And the way I see the fight, this is going to come out really hard the first round. I will um, fight with him for the first round, then the second round, I don't think you will have anything left. That's the plan. Once I get through this, I will get better. Okay. I'm looking forward to the fight. So it's the early hours of the morning. Okay, we are ready for the emergence of the big start. There he is, Paul Slowinski, with the legendary all time greatest, the four time K1 World Grand Prix champion, Ernesto Hust. Slowinski doesn't walk to centering, he stomps to centering the big start. He's a favourite with the ladies wherever he goes. As I always say, Hammer, there's no such thing as lesbians in the world. Only ladies that haven't met Paul Slowinski yet. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you. Over the race goes the big start, the pride of Krakow. And we are ready for action. Look at Patrice. If you ever wondered what the boogeyman looks like, that's him right there. He is the boogeyman. If you ever watch a TV show, Oz, he is out of VC of Oz. All the Oz fans will know what I'm talking about. All your little, all your little kids looking in your wardrobe, that's what you're going to find. He's the tail of the tape, too. He is the older Patrice. You boys are so lucky. He is taller. You are so lucky that Patrice doesn't speak English. Well, seven and a half kilos heavier, Patrice. The huge experience advantage going in the way of... Paul Slowinski. And this one is going to be a cracker, folks. Don't blink. It's not going to be a five-round war. This one's going to end up in a knockout one way or another. Let's go across to Richie. Get us underway. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Are you ready for the big one? If you're ready for the big one, make some noise. Rizark Productions presents... Five rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. This fight is sanctioned by the World Muay Thai Council. The judges at ringside from Thailand, Tanong Pompanit. From Thailand, Pong San Ekutin. And from Thailand, Radom Nabang Chang.
And the third man in the ring, your referee from the USA, Paulo Tocha. Fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 118 kilograms. His professional record, 33 wins, 4 losses, no draws, 31 wins by knockout. Fighting out of every France, please welcome Patrice the Dark Ronin Quarteron. And introducing in the red corner, he weighed in at 110.5 kilograms. His professional record, 88 wins, 19 losses, 2 draws, 48 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Adelaide, Australia, please welcome Paul the Sting Slowinski. Paul Slowinski and Patrice Corderon. They've got so much Vaseline on him, it looks like he's got a white beard. <laughs> he's an absolute nutter. Just have a look at him. Just the way he was looking at Slowinski and after nice they called guy. his name, he was ooh, ooh, ooh. He's a himself. nice guy. He's a nice guy. Emma, somewhere in the world, he's depriving a circus yeah. of a clown. I'm sure of it. Patrice oh, no, he's a nice guy. He's a, he's a, he's a tough competitor, and uh, he psychs himself right into the game. And uh, that's what it's all about. It's all about the show. And Patrice certainly brings that whenever he steps over the ropes. Patrice Corder on the rumour going around that he's actually signed a contract with K1. I can say that he's unofficial at the moment. There have been rumours he's going to be fighting Glau by Feitoza, but it is not yet official in any way. He's only fought three times under K1 rules. A win over Ashwin Balrak on a regional K1 event in Romania in 07. A win over Sundor Kish and a loss to the Hungarian great Attila Karac on a K1 Hungary show back in 2005. He is coming off a first round KO win in April over Romania's Vasil Popovici in Paris. And before that, he actually fought here in Jamaica last year at Champions of Champions 1 when he knocked out America's Rick Cheek in just one round to win the Super Heavyweight World title in a very small, little-known sanctioning body. That's uh, actually uh, Patrice knocking out Rick Cheek. Paul Slawinski's next opponent, Ben Edwards. Um, and uh, when he fights in Melbourne, uh, Slawinski will be fighting Ben Edwards. Ben Edwards also knocked out Rick Cheek. Exactly, in so Canberra. So common uh, opponents... From, uh, from both these guys that uh, Slovinsky is matched up against. So this will be a good measure for Slovinsky uh, here tonight to see how he's going to go. We talk about phenoms earlier on tonight, the guys like Jodson Klai and uh, Nathan Corbett with just crazy records. Well, when he first started, he made his pro debut in 1999. Slovinsky was a phenom. He went 16-0, and 0, including a win over Nathan Corbett, one of only two men to defeat Corbett, the other being the Alex Roberts fight in Japan where Nathan was KO'd. He won the WMC light heavyweight title, won the WMC cruiserweight title, and actually had his first loss when he made his K1 heavyweight debut against Mitch Mandingo O'Hello in Melbourne. Has gone 6-4 and four in his last 10 fights, has Slowinski, including wins over Bjorn Breji, Mighty Mo, and Faisal Zachariah in defence of his WMC world title. Third man in centre ring. Once again, the controversial Paolo Tolcha, who you know as Paco off the movie Bloodsport. Also former trainer of Koban and Malopet. Well, uh, no doubt Patrice is going to start at a fast and furious pace. Slowinski cannot be in front of him. You know, Paul, obviously we've, uh, I've trained uh, with Paul down in uh, WMC camp in Samui, and he's got a fantastic training ethic, but uh, he's going to have to employ all these skills against this maniac Patrice. Tonight. Here we go, heavyweight action, and Patrice Corderon opens up like a house of fire. Paul really has to work his way in there. He can't challenge him straight away. He needs to use his kicks. He's working laterally, definitely. He cannot be in the shot zone. He can't be in front of Patrice. He needs to be working his lateral movement a lot more. He has to really slow down. That's the way. Got to kick the leg, Slowinski. That's his prime weapon. Patrice and gets caught it. with the right hand. Crossing elbow from Slowinski. Fires the knee. Another elbow to the ear of the giant Patrice. Slowinski is a more time fighter. He's yeah. going to pick his pace. He has to get in there in the elbow range. Patrice actually looks to be a little weary of Paul's hands now after he got caught with the yes. shot there. He got caught straight in the beginning. He did get caught. It sort of, it sort of uh, phased him a bit. While Paolo Tancha putting a count here, standing count on Patrice Corderon. That's going to look very healthy for the sting. Slowinski is going to go to town on him now. And Patrice... He has to be careful because... 
He is a big puncher, but Slovinski got better hands. He moved his hands very well. Break, He's got break, a boxing break, trainer in Adelaide. Break, break, I am surprised that Patrice is looking break, so break. sloppy in his boxing break, here tonight. Break. I've seen him box a whole lot better. He's certainly he is. Uh, not looking uh, that great. Of course, uh, Patrice. Oh, there's a cut. There's a there's blood running down the back of the head of Slavinsky. Yes, Slavinsky's he got it from the back. Well, downward Great elbow. Again. It's on the skull, so it's not a fleshy cut. It'll be easy to stem the bleeding on that one. Oh, Hammer, this is ugly but entertaining. <laughs> Just like the last girl. Oh, he got him again. Oh, left hook he from Slavinsky. Patrice is on rubber yes, legs. He's going to go down. He's hit the big jaw. He's going to go down. He's hit the big jaw. Look at Slowinski just hammering away on him. Sorry, Hammer, no trademark on that one. <laughs> and corner on, tries to lock him up. Down he goes, goes the behemoth. Down he goes. Yes. Second count, Three. one more, Stefan. It should be all yes, over, right? Yes, three in a row. Right. One more count, Look and it's all that. over for Patrice. Slowinski has absolutely that. rung the bell. Slowinski, like a house of fire. He's fighting smart. He's fighting very smart. He picks his shots. Well, Australia versus France, and the Aussies looking the goods at the moment. Paul Listing Slowinski back now based in Adelaide. You can see it in Patrice's eyes. He, he is, he's very on his punches now. He's wobbly. One more, one good one. Slowinski got him with two good elbows too. And Patrice Corderon survived the round. Slowinski clumps him with the right hand. Patrice in a whole lot of bother. High left round kick almost took out the ring lights. Well, Patrice, uh, actually, his background is Savat before... Uh, he start, got into the Muay Thai or the, the kickboxing with Kadia Maru. His background was clubbing cave people. <laughs> <laughs> Outside thigh kick from Patrice. Slowinski on the front foot again. The Tower of Power, Patrice Corderon, has been made to look very average here. Ten seconds remaining. You know when I'm bored later, what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go and tell Patrice what you've been saying yes. about him. That's my... Oh, that's another, another, oh right hand oh. to the chin is rocks! Oh, doing the chicken dance at the end of the round. You can't be saved by the bell, but Paolo Tocha doesn't put a count oh, on Patrice. So Hammer, close. ownership, ownership, domination, ownership. whatever you want to call it. All the one-way stink. traffic to the big stud, Paul Slowinski. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> He knows there's still a few ladies left in the crowd, and he's out, he's out to impress the Yeah, thing. he wants to go out he's there. He's out oh. to impress. Hey, but you have to give it to Paul. He's fighting very smart. Yeah, he's using his he jab. Is. He's coming in with the right hand. He followed through, and he got uh, Patrice there a couple of good ones. The only thing smarter Slowinski could do in the next round is actually just give his shorts to Ernesto and uh, let him fight the next round. That would be the, smarter, <laughs> the next smarter move, but... Uh, he'll be in there warring all the way to the Hammer end. Hammer with one minute 15 left in the round. Here's the knockdown on Patrice Corderon. Boom, shakalaka. It didn't even look like, you know, a really huge shot. It sort of was a glancing shot, but uh, it certainly uh, got the sting a lot of respect from Patrice because uh, he, uh, he sort of panicked a bit after getting rattled by that straight left from the sting. I don't think he's been hit that hard by any of his opponents. And uh, the punishing Polak... Paul Solinski just uh, going after him. I tell you what, Patrice Corderon, you want to sign up with K1, you're going up against the former K1 European champion, and more than that, you're going up against the former light heavyweight, cruiserweight, and world's heavyweight WMC champion, Paul Slowinski. Under these rules, you don't mess with the Polak. I mean, you, you keep forgetting Slowinski is coming from Muay Thai background. He's done Muay Thai all his life. Yeah. Before he became a champion here, he was already two times amateur world champion. So he moved up through the ranks. Slowinski, people forget, in Muay Thai, he is definitely a gun. So Paul Slowinski with Ernesto Hoost in the corner here tonight. Alan Wong unable to make the trip over to Jamaica, suffering a bout of influenza. And Ernesto has certainly got to be happy so far with his charge, Paul Slowinski. Second round of action has Patrice Corderon recomposed himself here in centering as Kadir Maruf giving him all sorts of instruction between the rounds. Paula Tocha. Oh, sport gets us underway. Oh, oh there's Patrice another one. Takes a right oh, hand. Beautiful. Paolo may very well wave this one off. Three. Oh, that's three. That's three. Two He's got more two more knockdowns. Why does he count him for that? That's wrong. He bounced back up to his feet. Paolo put the count on. He should not count him for that. Big right hand again. Smack bang to the kiss. Oh. Oh. The hands just aren't here, though. Patrice quarter on. I've seen better hands on a clock than what Patrice is showing here tonight. He tries to pull the head down of Slowinski into the farewell meet. You are so going to get slapped by him tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to so tell gonna... him. Stefan and I are going to sit back and commentate it. I'm going to do French something... tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Slowinski. And he finds two more knockdowns in this fight. Two more knockdowns in this round will do it. Oh, oh again, a stunning shot off the right hand. Outside thigh kick. Now Slowinski is just dominating. Slowinski going to start to chop his legs now. 
you will see he's gonna go for the front leg because Lewinsky kicks hard. People forget it. Oh, oh it's good man, Irene! Big left hook. Good man, Irene! It is all over. Sensational. Open the fridge. He is out cold. Corner run and decked by Slowinski in epic, epic style. Now nah, that was fantastic. And you can see Slowinski's hand really got better. He's moving in to become smarter. And I'm really impressed about his Pick the shots. And that's a great return to form wow. by Paul the Sting Slowinski. Fantastic. Congratulations, Sting. Awesome work. Awesome night at the office. Jamaica. Well, it's your your home for uh, for wins, and uh, maybe it's the air. Maybe it's something in the air that relaxed Lewinsky a bit. <laughs> I think it was the fact that I stayed in a different hotel. And <laughs> the great work from this thing, Patrice. He is a scary looking dude, and uh, certainly anything he throws is going to be thrown with bad intentions and a lot of power. But tonight certainly wasn't to be his night. Unbelievable, Paul Lewinsky over Patrice Corderon. Ernesto Hoost is absolutely thrilled in the corner. I got a text message on my phone from Alan Wong saying, message me straight away. He's stuck in bed with the flu. I just messaged him and said, Paul, by KO in the second. Alan Wong will be absolutely wrapped. Unbelievable scenes here in Jamaica. A huge knockout from the Sting Paul Slowinski over Patrice Corderon. <laughs> He's celebrating. Paul Slowinski receiving the adulation. Patrice Corderon in the corner, now just regaining his senses, really. What a knockout. I'm still recovering from that one myself, Hammer. What a way to win the show here in Jamaica. Great stuff. Excellent. Fantastic. The WMC is super heavyweight. Belt. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think the fighters deserve a big round of applause? The big boys did not come out to play, they came to fight. And, ladies and gentlemen, referee Paulo calls an end to the bout with one minute and 51 seconds left in the second round. Winning by technical knockout, your winner. In the red corner, Paul Slowinski. Well, Paul Slowinski takes it. Second round KO of the highest order. And Paul Lazenby is in center ring with the big stun. Paul Slowinski, over to you, Paul. The, Paul and Paul. the WMC World Title Belt presented by Bill Hammond of Hammond Entertainment. Cracking stuff again is have a look at that highlight real KO. He absolutely was just zeroed in on uh, finishing this fight early. This thing, something to prove, making a statement out there to all the other super heavyweights that the sting is far from gone, far from over, and uh, still out to do damage. There it goes, nice left hook, beautifully timed from the sting. The sting of old is back, Michael. Paul Lazenby now in centering with Slowinski. So I think we've discovered a new word for tough, and that word is Slowinski. Paul, unbelievably brutal fight. You coming out on top. You found yourself in desperate straits in the early going, and then you just turned it into a brawl. Was that your game plan going in, or was that a case of just throwing your game plan out and turning it into a fight? No, I knew he's gonna he's gonna come out hard with everything he's got, and um, yeah, I just had to take it up to him. I didn't want to be on the back foot and let him. Bully me, I had to, um, yeah, my plan was to go for him and fight with him, and, um, yeah, it worked for me, so, yeah. Okay, so we got to wonder what's, what's in store for you in the future. You got WMC gold around your waist, you got Mr. Perfect in your corner. What's your message to all the heavyweights coming up the ladder that want a piece of this and want a piece of you? Yeah, I'm listen, I'm fighting, I'm, tra I'm training, I'm back. I had a, I had a bit of a bad luck last year towards the end, but, um, I came back strong. And I'm back again, so um, yeah, for anyone who wants to challenge me, uh, you're welcome. I'm sorry. I just want to say that he's back. Everybody saw it this, tonight. Paul is back, and he's going to show it to the world. And for you folks that aren't acquainted with this very famous gentleman here, that is four-time K1 World Tournament Champion, Ernesto Host. You get an endorsement from a gentleman like this, you know you're the real deal. Champ, congratulations. I look forward to watching your fights in the future. 
Close. Thank you, Jamaica. Paul Sawinski, a world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. Michael, back to you. Thank you, Paul. And how about that? The all-time greatest in